All right. It's Ari Atari with a fancy Ferrari. How are you today? Hello. No. Um, I, 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 good I, afternoon, I, Ari. I know you have a pink Ferrari. Good afternoon, Ari. Good afternoon, Mr. Lay. <laughs> Mr. Lay? What about me? Yeah, but... Trevor. That's it? Just Trevor? No Mr., no Miss, no handsome, no good-looking, no clever? Okay, just, Ari. Just Trevor? So with the tech... With the test today, the first part you will do with Mr. Trevor, okay, about pronunciation. So I will see you a little bit later, okay? Good luck. Bye bye. You're all mine now, little Larry. <laughs> 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 all right. Our new test format. For reindeers, Ra I, reindeer. There, there is no plural for reindeers. It's just reindeer. Okay, so we're gonna do just like the class, right? We're gonna go through some vocab that we've done before, so you should know them. And then we're gonna do some sentences with the vocabulary, like in the class, like before. And then after that, you're going to review the story about the settlers who went to North America and Thanksgiving. And that you'll do with Miss Lay too. So I'm only going to do the vocabulary and pronunciation with you. Speaking comprehension block three, reindeer, senior, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Ha! England. But, yeah, what country is that? England. That is correct. We are speaking English. The people from England are English. English people. That's their nationality. Oh, my God. Um, English people live in England. <laughs> Try saying that. English people live in England. Oh. You say that. Repeat. English people. English people. Live in England. Live in England. Live in England. Yeah, so does the Queen. <laughs> All right. What about this continent? It has all these countries in it. What continent? North, uh -huh. North America. Yeah, this is North America. That is correct. What country is this with the maple leaf? Do you remember that one? Two. What, what country is this? Um, Canada. Canada. Uh, America. America. Yeah, everybody says America, but it's the United States. And then they say the United States of America. What about this one down on the bottom between the USA and South America with the big hawk or eagle here? Do you, remember? Do you remember what this one is? Italy. No, it's not Italy. Italy's way over here in Europe. That's Mexico. Ma Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. North America has three countries. Canada, U.S., United States, and Mexico. That's North Mexico. America. Yeah. It used to be a Spanish col colony. Used to be. All right. That's good. Oh, so how did the English get over to North America? Eep. Yeah, they went on a ship. Which one? The big, big steel ships like this or the old wooden ship like this? Which one did they go to America with? Sure. Was it the wooden ship down here or the big steel ships here? How did they get to the Americas 400 years ago? The big one or the wooden one? What? The big one 400 years ago? Yeah. No, 400 years ago, they didn't have big tanker ships like this. They had these kinds of ships. These are the kinds of ships that first went to the Americas. These guys, all wooden, handmade. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put it out. A ship. That's right. We're going to read about a ship called the Mayflower. 
Well, no, we already read about it. <laughs> ah, so they're having a graduation. They're having a wedding. They're, they're having a party about something. What else could we call it other than a party? Mm. Time to have a... Uh, 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 uh. What do you have after you get married? Or if you want to make a party about an anniversary or a class reunion. Well, that no, wouldn't be a class reunion. Celebration. Celebration. That's right. Celebration. 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 Do you ever have any celebrations? Mm, no. No, not yet. But you will. You will, you will, you will. Where's your mom? Is your mom in Kamfa? Yes. Mm. Your dad in Kamfa? Yes. Yeah. Your grandma in Kamfa? Yes. Your aunt in Kamfa? What? Your aunt? Is your yeah. aunt? She's in Kamfa? Your brother? You have a brother, right? No. No, you have a sister? Yeah. Where's your sister? Is your sister in Hong Kong? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, uh, Vietnam. She's in Vietnam too. Oh, where is your dog? In a house. In a house? Not your house? Somebody else's house? No, 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 Whose house is your dog in? Your grandma's? Cage. Ten. Eh. Yeah, I don't understand. What's the next one? What's what subject would you be studying here? Old Where? books, Roman Stat empires, Egyptians. Battle? What is it? No, no, no. He's stone. Yeah, this is all about history. The things that happened in the past is. History. History. Yeah. Our guide, our guide told us a lot about the history of the temple. Hey, so they call that a temple? The Sphinx. The man lion statue here is the Sphinx. What do you call this big triangular building in the back? You remember the name of this thing? Ari? Yes. Do you remember the name of this big triangular building? What do we call that? Uh, um, Is it a hotel? No. <laughs> no. It's a playroom. No. No. It's a restaurant. No. no. Hmm. It's a gymnasium. No. No. Egypt. It's Egypt is the place. But do you remember what we call that building? Starts with a P. P? Oh. Yeah, remember? What do we call that? Why? Pyramid. Yes, pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> yes, pyramid. That's a pyramid. Probably the Great Pyramid of Gaza or something. There are different sizes. Ah, this Thank is. Yeah, the first people to live somewhere. That's right. You have the Native Americans here who who farmed and took care of the land in the Americas. Right? In Canada, they call them the First Nations people. And then you have you have uh you have settlers here who came and built houses, probably like the English did. They probably built yards like this with fences to protect the animals and started farming and gardening and then this over here is a is a picture or a re not a reenactment but i think they rebuilt an old settlement where vikings europeans came to canada but nobody knew about it because they all died in canada when they came so they never went home so then a hundred years later christopher columbus found the americas and he gets all the credit now. Unbelievable. Hmm. So, yeah, the first people to take a land, farm the land, build a village, they're called settlers. Can you say that again? Settlers. Settlers. Well, but many, many, not just one, right? There's lots. Settlers. 
Settlers. Settlers. Settlers. Okay. Yeah, very good. You got all the words so far. What else you got? Ha! Ah! Playing yeah. volleyball. What's he doing? What are Fishing. they doing? They're what? Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. They're fishing. What are they fishing for? Sharks? Yes. Yes. They're fish, sharks. Fish. Fish. No fish. Shark. Yeah, I think they're probably just fishing for fish, not sharks. That would be dangerous. <laughs> Do you like fishing? Yeah. Did you ever go fishing before? No. You I... never went fishing, but you like fishing. Uh, you fish... never went fishing, but you like fishing. Fishing. Hmm, I like fishing. I never catch any fish, but I like fishing. Trevor, do yes. you go out fishing? I love to go out fishing. I just love to be outside and I love to be on the water. So even if I don't catch any fish, I'm still very happy. You, just, you like fishing? I do. I like fishing. I don't know. Fishing boat. Do I like fishing boats? I do. When I was a kid, I grew up in the North Atlantic, the East Coast of Canada, and many of my neighbors were fishermen, and they all owned big fishing boats, and they would go out ice fishing in the winter, and they would go lobster fishing or trapping, I guess you'd call it, in the summer. So when I was a young, when I was your age and I was a kid, I got to go on a lot of fishing boats, and it was a lot of fun. And I went to go ice fishing, too. They cut big holes in the ice and put the big nets down in the water. And then it would freeze over. They'd have to cut the ice to the next day and then pull the nets out. And they would be full of fish. Yep, I like fishing. Hard work, though. Tough. All right. Taught. That's right. The past tense of teach is taught. Today, I teach English. Oh, my God. Yesterday, she... Mm, what? What is she teaching? She... How? Is she teaching English? No. No. What is Dao. that? Dao. Dao? What's a Dao? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Starts with an M. What is she teaching? What subject? Is she teaching history? Taught. Taught. But it is taught. But what is she teaching? What is it on the blackboard? PE. PE? Physical education? She taught English. Okay, maybe she taught English, but in the picture, she's teaching math. Yeah. I teach English now before I taught geography. Yeah. yeah. Past tense. Taught. Very good. Taught. 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 These are not normal cars. They're racing on ice. They need special studded tires. Yes. Yeah. How do you say that? Angel. Yeah, just like social, special, social, social, crucial, facial, so financial, <laughs> spe, 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 special, special, spe, 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 special, spe, 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 special. Yeah. Is New Way English special? Mm, yes. Yeah. That's right. New Way English is very special because we're an awesome school. <laughs> ah, we got a chicken. Is that a chicken? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. What the Thanksgiving? Fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like thank you, right? With an S. Thanks. 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 Yeah. You got a lot of crazy sounds in there. You got a th, th, the TH, really soft. Thang. And then you got a little G sound in there. Ang. Right? 
thang. Thang. K s k s k s k s. Thanks. Thanks. K s k s. Thanks. Thanks. Giving. Giving. Don't forget your V. Giving. Giving. Just like vincom with a ng. Giving. Giving. That's right. <clears throat> All right. What's wrong? <laughs> Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's not thank giving. It's th th. The tongue has to come out a little bit. Look, Ari. Th th thanks. Thanks. <laughs> we'll work on that. Thanksgiving. So, what did they cook? Yes. What did they cook? What is that? Noodles. Noodles. That look like a noodle to you? Yes. What? Since, when, since yeah. when does a noodle have legs? Rice and noodles. That's not rice and noodles. What is the food in the picture? No. No, that's not food. Oh um, yes. What kind of food is it? What is that? Chicken. Yeah, it looks like a chicken, but I think it's a turkey. Chicken. <laughs> Turkeys are bigger. Thanksgiving traditionally is a big turkey dinner. Yeah, see how big it is? That'd be one big chicken. I think they're turkeys. Thanksgiving is a thank you for all the food they have. Gratefulness, yeah. Express of gratitude. Expression of gratitude. All right, what do we got? Ah, this is the last one, I think. Oh, no, 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 we haven't. Yeah, no, I don't know. We'll see. Something like that. All right, so when the English... Traveled on their ship. Fighting Americans. Fighting milk Americans? What? No, 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 what kind of American? What, what, what? Latin American. <laughs> Latin American? <laughs> Latin America are the people from South America. So these are, starts with an N. Right? Just like Trevor. He's a mm, speaker. I come from a land where the first language is English. So I am a mm, speaker. But speaker. these... Yeah, but what's the missing word? Starts with an N. What do we call these people? American. Well, they are Americans. But we call them first. I oh, know, sorry. In, in Canada, we call them first nation people. But in the U.S., in the United States, we call them Native Americans. Native American. Native Native American. Not Nathan with a V. Native. Native. Tiv. Tiv. One more time. Native. Native. Tiv. Americans. Americans. Yeah, so one more time. Native Americans. Americans. All right, that's much better. And they used to live in what? What did they call their little tents and their teep their, their, their homes? What did they call them? Right here on the side. American. What did they live in? What did they sleep in? How did they protect themselves from the weather? No. What is this? This word over here. Teepees. <laughs> yeah, these were called teepees. That was their houses. And they're really, really, really big. I've been in some teepees and they're like two, three stories high and really big. You got a bed in there and a kitchen in there and a sofa and <laughs> you got everything in there. It's amazing. Native Americans, they were the they were called natives because they were the first settlers to go to the Americas. They're the first people. Thousands and thousands of years ago. Yeah. All right. So just like always in our class, 
after we do the vocab challenge, which you did very good with. Very good, very good. Now you're going to do some of the sentences with Miss Lay. So I'm going to transfer you to the moon. You want to go to the moon? No. But it's too bad. You're going to the moon. Goodbye, Ari. Bye, Trevor. See you again. Hello, Ari. Hello, Miss Delay. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to. All right. That's why Ari is for. Stick. Ah, all right, as it, Ari. So on this part, we will try yeah. to give you some example with our vocabulary here. So what is your first one? With ship. Ship. I went by ship. Oh, you went where? Where did you go? By where ship. By ship. Yeah, but when? Ah, uh, where? Where did you go by ship? Okay, that's a good one. But where did you go? Ari? Where did you go? You said that you went. When? I went. Yeah, I went by ship. So where? Where did you go? Oh, frozen? Really? I went. I went to? Yes, I went. <laughs> went to the moon. <laughs> no, no so where? Where did you? Where did you go by ship? Um, I went. All right. Don't want to share with me. All right. So, what about number two? Um, Travel. Uh, I. Went actually went it means go or travel is the travel it's the same so where is mean the place for example you say that I went to Hai Phong right I went to Hai Phong by ship Hello, hello, hello. Hello. okay <laughs> I went to Hà Long by ship where is for place okay so what about number two Ari what's your sentence with today today is special day. Today is a special day. Okay. Today is a special day. So why is special day for you? Birthday. Whose birthday? Birthday, Brasa. But whose birthday? For example, it's my birthday, your birthday, it's grandma's birthday. Whose birthday? Brasa birthday. Grandma's birthday. Okay. Try to say it in full sentence, Ari. What about number three? Celebration. Celebration. Oh my God. <sighs> it is uh, now, and how can we put this in a sentence? My aunt. This is not a verb, yeah, Ari. It's a now. My aunt. Mm -hmm. Celebration. Mm, I just said, but you okay? When, uh, oh, when didn't wedding? Okay, but uh, this one we just say right because I like I said, Ari, Ari, pay attention. Celebration is the now, so we have to say have a celebration, okay? Or how was the celebration? So if you want to say that my aunt had a wedding celebration and it's already in the past, you have to say she had, right? Yeah. Yeah. So my aunt had a celebration, a, a wedding celebration. Celebration. Okay. What about number four? Settlers. Um. Settlers live, live in America. Yeah, the settlers lived or live in America. All right, that's that's okay. What about fishing? My family go fishing. 
Mm, okay, so here, uh, because family, just one family, and usually we consider it as a, a singular now. So we say my family goes, goes fishing. Yeah, yeah. and you can put a uh, adverb there, like uh, at the weekend or together or something. But it's okay. My family goes fishing. What about number six? Taught. My aunt taught me what? What did she teach you? Math, Vietnamese, literatures. What subject? What subject did she ta teach you? Taught 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 me history. Ah, okay. My aunt taught me history. That's right. That's good, Ari. Okay, so Ari, uh, that is it for the part two. Yeah, sentence challenge. So now we will go to part three, um, reading comprehension. Oh. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to part three? Yes. Okay. Ari, yeah. so we are going to talk about the secular story. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So I will have a few questions for you here. Um, the first one, what did they call the Mayflower in their story? What was it? Mm. The Mayflower. Their ship name was the uh, my flower. Ah, okay. It was their ship's name. All right. Um, where were the settlers from, Ari? Settlers were from England to North America. Ah, they're from England. Was the first month easy for the settlers? Was it easy for them? Was, was the first month easy for the settlers? Settlers. The settlers first winter in North America was very cold and snowy. Mm, so is, was it easy for them? Is The weather was cold and snowy. So was it easy for them? Yes. Was, it's easy for them. They have everything. They had everything? No. No. So yes or no? No. It's difficult, right? It's not easy. They, yeah, it's, it, it was very, very cold um, winter. And what else? What? Did, did they have a lot of food? It's, it was not easy. So did they have a lot of food there, Ari? Did they have something to eat? No. No. And you know that in, in the story, they said they were hungry, right? Yeah. Okay. So it was not easy for them. Then who taught them? Who taught the settlers to farm and fish? Ari? The Latin American taught the settlers. Ah, Native Americans, okay, did it. Um, was there a lot of food at the first Thanksgiving dinner? Thanksgiving dinner? It's not the first month, but at the first Thanksgiving dinner. Was there a lot of food? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, there was. <laughs> okay, Ari, so that is it for the test. Um, it's time to say goodbye. goodbye. I guess that did a good job. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye.